Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Morrowind. With me, as always, is... I'm... Uh, I'm gonna be with Dark Elf Jesus here. <laughs> well, we've certainly proven that we are Dark Elf Jesus. All of the great houses have named us Hortator, and all of the Ashlander tribes have named us Nerevarine. So it is finally time to head into the temple itself and speak with the Archcanon, because he wants to have a word with us. So let's just get to him as quickly as possible by jumping off one of the cantons. Alright, wait, what? Whee! Ouchie, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I most definitely did not rig it so that I would gain acrobatics by doing that. No, Oh, sir. God, my legs. All my right. wounds are minor compared to what you will receive if you continue to bother me. <laughs> I jumped off a building! <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to meet the arch cannon, please. So he's in his private quarters, and it says here that the Ordinators are going to attack us on sight, but I've never really had them do that to me, so I don't know. Well, it says if you are a criminal. Oh, okay. Right. So I guess, like, you can't approach them uh, safely if you have, like, a bounty on you. So yeah, just, just don't talk to any of them, I suppose. That's what you'll need to do. I'm certain that I remember where it is, and I will not need to... Uh, look at any maps whatsoever. I'm sure I will regret saying that. To be fair, I don't blame you with this. All these hallways and rooms look the same to me. Yeah, architecture is not Dark Elf strong points, it seems. Uh, anyways, please tell me I'm not stuck on the candle! Uh, <laughs> I've gotten stuck on many things, but the candle would be a new one. Uh, I, I can't even justify it. The other ones I could justify. This one, I'm sorry. See, I'm sure it would be in the Hall of Justice. That sounds uh, justice-y. The person in charge and all that. But yeah, while I figure out where he is, um, how has this playthrough been? We're basically at the end game now, so if you would like to talk about how it's been so far... I think I mentioned this before, but like I've been having a lot of fun with this, just... As someone who is new to Elder Scrolls, just kind of seeing this whole game come together, and just seeing all the ridiculous stuff, just even at the beginning of our adventure, this has been an absolute treat from beginning to end, and I think it has given me, like, a new insight on Elder Scrolls itself. Well, I'm, I, I'm very you know, happy to provide that. I'm very happy to have experienced it with you, man. This has been a fun journey. Yeah, I think this has basically been the best idea for a playthrough ever. Bring in somebody who is completely new and see how they react to everything. Especially since this is not an easy game to get into, but you've seen how rewarding it can be. Oh, uh, yeah. The fact you can just, like, essentially make your own spells alone has me, like, I want to see how I can break this game in half in the future. <laughs> I've been holding myself back, but I've got all of, like, the best artifacts. I've got the Helm of Orin Bearclaw. I've got, like, these these Fists of Randigulf. Just all of this really cool stuff. Anyways. This should be where his, uh... Oh, there he is. Fuller Saryani. Go away. Now, I have to admit that this part of the game kind of gets a little bit weird because this guy is the head of the temple, but if you join the temple and do all the quests, then it is possible to become head of the temple yourself, and then doing this quest just gets really, really awkward when you take that into account. <laughs> so anyways, oh, he... despite the temple persecuting the Nerevarine all this time, after ha having proven that we are, like, we, we mean business, basically... The temple is willing to capitulate. Like, they now re recognize that they have to stop Dagother at all costs, so they're going to give us the opportunity to meet with Vivek, the living god himself. What? I'm not kidding. A parlay, oh. if you will. And we've also got keys to the entrance to Vivek's quarters, but uh, I happen to know that if you cast Alm Civi Intervention, then you're basically good to go. At least I think so. Well, I guess this is just how it is. Yep, that's just how it is. Would it be past here? Ah, yes. Nice little palace he's got here. No kidding. This place almost looks like a Mesoamerican temple. True. 100 gold for a blessing here. Oh. Okay. Grace of generosity. 
I'll just donate 200 gold. I'm sure he'll be fine with it. The lock level is 100, which is the absolute maximum, but it's still possible to break in here. So, there he is, Vivek, one of the three tribunal gods. You can see that he's sporting, like, a half-yellowish, half-grayish body. Definitely unusual. Oh. So, we have business, you and I. Business, indeed. When I was young like you, I was very impatient. So I will keep our business short. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so he's finally going to stop persecuting the Nerevarine. Like I said... That we are basically their best shot at stopping Dagother. And as we know from reading all of those books, basically he's going to confirm here that everything that was said about the Tribunal is true. They were once mortal, but they got uh, Kagranak's tools, and then they draw power from the heart of Lorcan, and now they're gods. So it kind of makes them technically not gods, if you will. But unfortunately... <sighs> But unfortunately, because Dagother is also drawing power from the heart, if we don't stop him, like, he's just going to continue to get stronger and stronger. Like, they put up a fence in order to keep all of the creatures and everything inside of Red Mountain, but it's failing more and more as their power wanes. So, that's the gist of it. And Vivek is now going to grant us the one artifact that he managed to keep that wasn't stolen by Dagother. The... A uh, gauntlet known as Wraithguard. Wraithguard. Mm -hmm. And now, will you give your oath before all gods and men, before all spirits visible and invisible, before my honor and your honor, to dedicate yourself and Wraithguard to the defeat and destruction of Dagother and the preservation of Marwind as his people? Yes, I so swear. Not very sensible, but very good. <laughs> I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitations about making such an oath. You will now have a brief, momentary sensation of time passing. Don't be alarmed. You are being taken out of time in order to avoid the unpleasant experience of learning how to use Wraith Guard. It will be over before you know it. Oh. All right, then. So here's the plan to defeat Dagother. The two remaining artifacts are hidden in the citadels of Red Mountain. So we need to go and pick those up. Then we need to go to Dagother's chamber and essentially not completely destroy the heart of Lorcan, but basically break the connection the heart of Lorcan has with all of these people, which does in fact imply that Vivek and the other tribunal gods are going to lose their powers as well. But Vivek is now willing to pay that price. Fair enough. It's either be immortal and live with an absolute dick to this Dagother, or not be immortal but still be able to chill. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is going to cause problems because eventually everyone's going to find out the truth, and that's going to mean something for the temple. Um, oh, boy. So, yes, you can also ask him a bunch of questions. Like, basically, he tries to dodge responsibility by saying, oh, I did what I have to, but, you know... Uh, I hate that answer. Yeah, he, he talks like a politician, which is kind of disappointing when you're expecting a god to say, to like, have some kind of justification here. Uh, but there's also one little twist remaining here. Because in the back, oh. you can see that there are a bunch of notes related to Dagother and Red Mountain and where to go to pick up some extra artifacts. But there is also a little story here about Nerevar at Red Mountain. Now, I'll give you the cliff notes. The general storyline of the Battle of Red Mountain is that Nerevar died fighting Dagoth Ur, and so the tribunal took the tools and made themselves gods. But according to some accounts from the Ashlanders, Nerevar was outright backstabbed by his own generals, which eventually became the tribunal. Which means Vivek, Amalexia, and Sotha still are backstabbers. Oh, man. Now, you don't necessarily need to believe that. A lot of lore in this game is left up to interpretation and personal belief, but I personally personally believe that the account of Vivek backstabbing Nerevar is true, and the reason for that is because I'm about to reveal the secret of the 36 lessons of Vivek. So, the final book in that series, uh, if you take the first letter of every paragraph, it spells out foul murder. Hmm... Wow. Yeah, and there's another hidden message. Uh, I guess you could take it as Vivek subconsciously accepting responsibility 
for everything. Uh -huh. So yes, it's very, <laughs> it's very, very interesting, isn't it? No, I, I like that. Yeah, like you never know if it's true or not. It could be the case. It couldn't be. But there's a lot of, like, uh, clues pointing either direction. It's very mm -hmm. interesting. I like that. Yeah. Because like this is why I, this is why I say Morrowind has the best main quest out of every Elder Scrolls because the other ones are very cut and dry. They're not doing a whole lot, or at least they're not doing a whole lot on the surface of the writing. Yeah, like I miss when games were more ambiguous, both in decision and in lore. Just you have to sometimes make up your own answers, and I know some people are disappointed in that, but having some uh, question left unanswered is what leaves the greatest mystery of all in some cases. Very true. So we now need to travel to Red Mountain, but before that, uh, back to Belmore, please. You know, why don't we have Fly one? Walk when you can run. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, why don't we have one more happen. silly little thing like that? Why don't we have a little more of that? Is there something I can do for you? Because there oh, is one, you. there is one last thing I want to show dirt, before dirt, the dirt, end. Everywhere dirt. Everywhere there's dirt. <laughs> <laughs> We are now in a city called Caldera. I, I think I showed this to you before. The fact that there are stolen objects on the shelf there proves that. Yeah. <laughs> so if we go up to, I think, this manor here? No. Not that Not that it's one. It's given our fault. Mm -hmm. So there's a manor here with a very interesting merchant, let's say. One last little uh, silly treat. There it is. Mm -hmm. So there. this is a manor for orcs. So, uh, hi there, uh, fellow orc. But if we go up here, there's just this... There's this scamp here named Creeper. Okay. So, what's up with him? Why, he's creeping, apparently. Do I have to... <laughs> Hello, Caldera, I'm here all week. Well... But I'm Tish. He, uh, buys things. And like with the, um... Mud crab merchant. He's only got half as much gold as the mud crab merchant, but you can sell anything to him at full price. So uh, take this right bracer for me, please. Thank you. Okay. Dang, that's perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. I just wanted to show the 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 creeper merchant because you know you've got to do that. Best place to get some easy money. Uh, I'm very glad they have something like this because yeah. Even now, you're still close to being over-encumbered. I am? Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I I need to work on that, I suppose. I so, mean, we got time. So I will walk to the ghost gate. I was thinking, yeah, we st we also got the new bracer from Vivek, so... Oh, yeah, Wraith Guard. I should show it to you, because it's right here. Heavy armor worth like half a million gold, but look at that shield enchantment. Shield 10 points, reflect 20 points, a bunch of resistances. That is really good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I can't wear my strength fortifying gauntlet because it takes up the same arm. Dang. So while we're on our way to Ghost Gate, I suppose flying is the best way to do it. I want to also yeah, mention. I also want to mention that. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I always go with flying. Uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've shown you that it's possible to kill off a quest character and have the game say, "You just made the game unwinnable. Please reset." But uh, there's actually a sort of back door for finishing the main quest, and I love that they added this. So it's possible to actually kill Vivek. I'm not saying like you can't kill him right now. I could. And in fact, you can soul trap him. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's just, just soul trap a living god, it's fine. So, I assume that eventually would lead you to that back door you're talking about. I, I did not need to see the clip racers face to face like this. <laughs> there's more. There's like three of them. They're still a nuisance after all this. Ugh. So as I was saying, it's possible to soul trap Vivek, but you have to use Azura Star, which I find completely ironic. <laughs> Damn. Right. And so. I imagine... Oh, go ahead. Uh, you go ahead. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I. I'm nice to the ghost fence, by the way. You see that? Real fence. Oh. 
This thing's tall. Mm -hmm. You can fly over it, though. Yeah, but no, I was just saying you probably were going to answer my question anyway, so go ahead. Right, so the back door. Uh, if you kill Vivek, you can actually take Wraith Guard off of him, but you don't know how to use it. So what you have to do is take it to Yegram Bagarn, the last living dwarf, and he will fix it up for you. But you have to find a couple journals first. Oh. And even then, the first time you equip the jury-rigged Wraith Guard, it will inflict... Uh, actually, there's a bug that makes it inflict permanent damage. I don't think it's supposed to be permanent. But, like, you lose 200 health, so you have to be very strong in order to pull it off. Jeez, like, what would it do to do that much? Does it just basically, like, rip your arm off? Well, Wraith Guard's purpose is to protect you from damage when you are handling the other tools. So, something like that, I imagine. Oh, I see. It, a weapon that's supposed to prevent damage instead does the opposite. Oh, an alchemy book, and I can get a level up. Oh, is that one of the books of Evac, actually? Yeah, yeah there's, there's two of them here. There's two of them here. This one is Alteration, which is really good for me. Nice. And another one. Light armor. There, would, I was like, there wouldn't be a case we could find the last book of Evac around here, would we? It's lesson 36. Is it just right here? 21? That's 13. 21, 13. Uh, the, it's about 18. Yeah. That's... Uh, you would oh, think they would well, have a library with all of them, to be perfectly honest. Eh, some folks probably checked them out. Right. Oh, yeah, and... I should also mention that I think the plot implication is that all of the Great Houses are going to be sending soldier soldiers into Red Mountain to basically clear us a path. Not sure if that's the case. It sounds cool. I always like the idea of it's not just like the hero going off, but like there's a whole army backing him up. Yeah. I guess if you want a final battle with a massive army that actually does back you up, play Dragon Age Origins. I know my friend Dragon has told me about that game. That's actually kind of cool sounding. This should be safe. Ta-da! Some extra nice. strength, which is really good. Definitely. We're gonna need that. And did I have anything else I wanted to talk about? I'm actually looking for something around here. There's like a, a mini tavern in here. Oh, cool. Lock level 100. Oh, that's... Whoa! Someone no really idea why the lock is board. so big. I mean, considering what this place is, I imagine they want to keep this place fortified for a reason. Very true. I, I want to Excuse restore you. my... Um, I should be able to find, like, one of the ones that'll restore my... It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Anything. It's interesting to see how it all winds down. And, like, yeah... I guess the hard part is like, what can I really say when it comes to lore? Since I know when it comes to Elder uh -huh. Scrolls, the lore. Here's who we're looking for. There's a man oh, here named here. Wolf. Oh, hello, Wolf. Just Wolf, huh? Wolf, that's me. Okay. This is a hell of a place. Why are you here? Well, honesty hasn't steered us wrong so far. I, I'm. I just like. I I am the Neverine. I must go confront Dagothur in his citadel. What a piece of luck. Look, I'm an old Legion veteran, as old as the poor old Emperor, bless his soul. I'm too old for campaigning. I came this far to look at hell, but I can't go any farther than this. I'd take it kindly if you'd carry this old lucky coin with you when you go to Dagothur. Sort of a token of the tough young hero I used to be. Would you do that for an old man? Sure. Uh. Well, there's the coin. <laughs> That's so sentimental, I like that. Right. So, well, what do you know about the poor old Emperor, though? The Emperor is getting old. Don't know how much longer he'll hang on. So is this whole Empire, for that matter. Getting old, that is. The Emperor and the Legions have held the Empire together for hundreds of years. It's been a good thing, by and large, but maybe it's time for a change. Time for something young and new. What? No idea. Because I'm old. Old dog doesn't get new ideas, but maybe young folks like you should try some new ideas. I don't know. Could be messy, but change is never pretty. Wow. Very interesting things to say, and I'm pretty sure this topic is just nothing. So, that wasn't just any old ordinary coin, by the way. It gave us a new power. Oh, luck of the emperor. 
Yep. Oh once my God. once a day, once a day, we can get two minutes of fortified luck. It's not that much luck, honestly, but thank you, old man. That's very nice of you. It's still not this, it's still good. So So what do you know about that wolf guy, bartender? Old Imperial fellow. Legion veteran named Wolf? No, nobody like that up here that, that I remember. Don't remember any old Legion veterans here at all. Not in a very long time. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Wait, what? Can you not see him? There is hmm. ah! to me. I can tell. What about this man? Find someone else to bother. Do, do you know about him? No, he doesn't see him either. Huh. That's very odd. Very odd indeed. Well, we got what we came here for. Now it's time for me to hopefully find the exit. And it doesn't look like he has any magic he could absorb spells from. Huh? Oh, jeez, not again. Uh... That's, that, that's me calling him a ghost. <laughs> they call it Ghostgate. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. Already? Yep. Time to charge the fort. And luckily, all of the citadels that we need to go to are marked on the map. Odrasol. Let's go. Alright. This place already looks pretty desolate compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, there, there should, in theory, be, like, constant ash storms, but I'm happy for my visibility if not. Oh, yeah. There we go. There it is. And I don't think Night Eye will help us either. That's thing. Red Mountain is... Is it a dormant volcano? Or is it just... It's apparently dormant. I mean... Because I think you... Imagine yeah. if it erupted. No, that's fair. It reminds me of how Hyrule still resides next to Death Mountain. What are... Oh. I thought those were giants appearing in the distance. Uh, speaking of giants... Oh! Ow! 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 Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Excuse me. I guess... I guess I should make sure that the levitate doesn't run out like that. Uh, that was close, though. I forgot to mention one thing. If, yes. if you talk a little more with Vivek, he will mention that he's confirmed that Dagother is building a super weapon with the Heart of Lorcan. Of course he is. Because, yeah, I mentioned how, like, the super weapon known as the Numidium was the cause of the dragon break in the previous Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, Dagother is trying to replicate that. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, no, this guy needs to be stopped. That he does. Ultrasol, Dwemer Training Academy. Alrighty. Just to make sure. Up. Last time we went to one of these, we got our head bashed in by an orc with a hammer. Ah, uh, yes. Or did we? I seem to recall uh, turning on a invisibility potion and just running right past everything. Okay. Oh, no, you're also right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dragon break. Every time you load a save, it's a dragon break. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I, I would be, I believe it. So there's, th these are dwarven ruins, so there's gonna be a lot of their stuff in here, but it's so heavy that I don't feel like taking it. Uh, let's see, carefully. Oh, that looks nice, though. I love Jinx swords and Jinx blades. I almost wish I had taken short blade. <laughs> Some raw glass. Now, I'm not too worried about loot, by the way. Unless it's a good potion, like that. Yeah, we're pretty... Oh, yeah, because we're pretty much at the end of this at this point. I mean, there's, we're still, set. there's still, like, a bunch of side quests you could do if you wanted to, like, join a guild or something. True. Alright. <laughs> maybe, maybe my pants should be on my hotkey. Your pants are hot. Uh-oh. Who do we have there? Sounds like someone who could use a bit of, uh... Oh, actually, if I sneak up on him... Uh... Well, Juriel, have you come to serve, or to challenge my station, or to try to win Keening? It is well hidden. Even if I should fall, you'll never find it. Uh, yeah. I doubt that, buddy. So, I hear, uh, enemies nearby. Yeah, I saw a guy that's like grappling right behind you. Oh yeah, it's a flame nature now. No biggie. 
Oh, thank God. So, so does he, like, fight me or no? Oh, so you punch him first with your sword. Well, they say the challenger is owed the courtesy of the first blow. Eric. I think I'm feeling like a little meaner than usual today. Let's say we... Where is it? There it is. I'm lucky this thing has a unique icon. Oh my goodness! What? I'm almost dead. Oh god. Okay, dig off Odros. I have soul trapped you. You are now in one of my grand souls. His amulet is ridiculously good. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, a lot of fortifications, but it is on you, so don't worry too much about it. There's this key, oh. which will open the doors if you're not good at lockpicking. So, let's find that door that it opens, if we can. Yes. Not quite that one. Oh, look at what we have here! Another golden saint! And They pull out all the stops, but... Yeah. Geez, <laughs> uh, she's going down pretty quick. You say you were saying? Nice. <laughs> uh, I guess that saint wasn't as good as I thought. Ebony longsword. If that wasn't so heavy, I would love to. Well, yeah, it's too heavy. I'll take that heart though. Mhm. Mm I can always pick it up and come back, I suppose. It, you, you can actually fall down here from up top. Imagine falling right onto the Golden Saint. That would not be fun. Yeah, if I wasn't completely awesome. Let's see here. Shouldn't it Art be in here? Where go. is it? Um. Let's see, there's a tower area apparently. Oh, here we go. The ladder is just like so invisible. Uh, yeah. Brown rust, everything's... Oh. There it is. The, the second of day, of um, Kagranak's tools. Look at those enchantments. That is so good. It's a glowing blade, too. That's how you know it's important. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. And, uh... Is there anything else around here? There's, like, something... Oh, an ash statue. Just hanging from the thing. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah, it's actually not that difficult to just go in and grab Keening just... Make sure you know where the ladder is, I guess. Yeah, because again, it blended pretty well. Mm -hmm. Right, one down and only one more to go. I need my flying pants once again. Let this be off! I'll keep the map open. Uh, I should not have that equipped. No, thank you! <laughs> Let's have your big wobbly sword. Yeah, look at me. Just look. I, I'm the hero! The Nero Vereen wobbles in the air because he's got the boots of blinding speed and all that. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ow. Uh, I see Dagother has recruited an army of cliff racers. I'm gonna say, he knows exactly how to tick you off. I'm just swinging around randomly and getting them. Oh, I guess there was maybe that guy too. <laughs> so, uh, poor schmuck got in the crossfire. Uh huh. Uh, that's his fault for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh gosh, am I gonna have enough inventory space for the second artifact? Oh well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. Eh, we'll find space. That shit sure is hard to see. Yeah. All I see is rock and ash. Welcome to Red Mountain. It's like it's in the name, now I realize it. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that reminds me of another little bit that I think is really cool. Um, in Elder Scrolls 1... The final dungeon of Marwind is also a dungeon in the original Elder Scrolls, but Dagoth III doesn't appear in it. Huh. So, like, after all of that, this is a neat little shout-out to Elder Scrolls 1.
but I suppose if the final battle were anywhere but the center of the map, that would be really disappointing. Uh, that's true. It's a good way to end things up. Like, doesn't every video game ever end in the center of the map? Not all of them, but most of them. Oh, yeah. Some of them go to the top okay. of the map. What? Also true. Also, I... S Sorry, I finally got a good look. That appendage is coming out of his face. That is... Holy shit. Oh, yeah, you're right. Corpus is gross. Let's put it that way. Very much so. I'm glad we got that cured. Mm -hmm. We only had the symptoms removed, so our body isn't going to mutate, but we're still, like, um, immortal. Oh, well, yeah. You know, it is essentially became equivalent of a vaccine. Like, we can't be afflicted with any of it, and we're cured of it forever. Also, apparently makes us ageless. Yep. Still can't believe that. I mean, the whole thing is unbelievable. Oh, jeez, one of those guys again. Ugh, every time. Uh-huh. Diamond. Know worse. Nice. I don't know what's worse. The, the ones that have a hole in their eyes or the ones with corpus? Well, they're zombies. Frank West never had to deal with this. Oh. And he's covered wars. He's covered wars, you know. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Fitting how he... Fitting since we've both been playing a lot of Capcom games lately. And these are, like, ramblings of a madman, it seems. My eyes! My brand! <laughs> Here, take your stupid bracer back. I don't want it. Uh, I have to find the other items in my inventory, too, to take them out. We just kind of, like, turn one of these into a community chest. Just put whatever we don't we don't need at the moment into it and get back when we're done dealing with... Uh, Dagother or something. Oh, is that what a community chest is? Well, actually, no. A community chest is like a chest for like anybody to pick from. I just mean like we need a chest. What am I saying? We just need like a chest to oh, put geez. all our stuff in. It's Cthulhu. Oh, Cthulhu's back, baby, and he's pissed. God, he sounds like a really weird elephant. Murder this man. Uh, I'll do better than that. Uh, I guess that didn't soul trap him. Uh, we couldn't kidnap his soul. Oh yeah, you know what? It's because I'm out of grand gems. I don't have any more. Ah, fair enough. You know, we could just like find like a chest, like a notable chest or barrel or something and just stuff everything in there. I'm sure nobody will take it. Speaking of gems, I'm actually going to use one of my petty gems to recharge the pants because they're out of charge. Uh, these pants. Oh, enchant Light up. enchant skill went up. I enchanted my pants by shoving a gem into it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they work. That's a, that's a mean looking statue down there. Hello, what? Oh, that's the guy. Uh, that's the guy's glowing dead corpse for some reason. That is a weird corpse, I gotta admit. Uh, oh, there's a drummer up. Drummer up. It's a lord. He's got a big, nasty weapon. Oh, jeez, my, my my life. Oh, watch yeah, that. That's painful. I'm not sure why there are Daedra in here. That's actually kind of interesting, but nothing I can do about it. Besides knock them out. Yeah. This place is just very all over. Another one of these weirdos. Murder it quickly, please. That I shall, and that I have. More six house Thank amulets, you. which are worth so much money. Ah, oh, great, we're just down here now. Oh, look, another one of them. What? You want to talk? You want to surrender? To boast? To talk me to death? Sure, I will I'll talk, talk to you to death. I still don't know why they carry around those 6,000 amulets. They're really bad and bad. Uh, that dedicated. Oh, he was holding the other artifact. Sunder. That's the one Sunder. we need. Sunder. And it is, in fact, very heavy, so I'll need to think about this. I guess I have, like, this ridiculous 
armor thing that I'm not really using. All these pants and amulets and all of the other weird stuff that I'm carrying. I need to drop. I just had a real. I realized why didn't we just leave these in the closet at home? You make a very good point, my friend. <laughs> and that would be because I am a dumb bunny. Okay, oh. I'm gonna put this map back on again. And why don't I use some levitation potions? Because I've been I've been carrying around so many of those. That's probably what's clogging me up so bad. I got a potion of Portable. detect key. Yeah, I, I think we got that like long ago. Oh, I guess I used up all of the levitation potions or sold them or something. Yes, I believe so as well. Pants. Oh wait, that's that's the psych pants, not the travel pants. <laughs> Oops, wrong pants. <laughs> wrong pants. Nerefarin falls into lava because he put on the wrong pants. <laughs> uh, hey, at least he can see. Oh, I really gotta fly over the mountain now, huh? Oh man going really high. I've got an eye on the little icon for my uh, buff. Cool. Down. Uh, can I recharge in air? I would like to do that. Travel stain pants. Oh, you can. You can do that in the air. Do it again. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, okay, we're good. We're safe. I had me worried there for a sec, Juriel. Uh, ow! Excuse me! This looks like the place... No. Some kind of dangerous shrine. Oh, hello? There now are you dying! What, wait, what are you doing? Who are you? Okay, I don't know who you are, but if you're gonna attack me like that... See ya! Yeah. Oh, I need a potion. Oh boy. All shuns are needed. I want to scam. I was just here! <laughs> uh, nothing too special about it. I wonder if that was like maybe part of a quest or something. Is there, there are actually other side quests that deal with things inside the ghost fence. Huh. Not our problem, for now, at least. Nope. Ashstorm's dying down a little, which is a nice help. A beautiful night to slay a god. Mm-hmm. Okay, there it is. You're gonna like this. There's almost like a tornado or something going into the center here, because that is the heart of the volcano. This I love. A good setup. And the door is here, and we need to find the crank. And remind events. me again. Uh, what is the name of the heart that Dagothar's uh, getting power from? The Heart of Lorcon. Heart of Lorcon. Oh, yeah, maybe I should talk about Lorcon. That might be important. <laughs> Lorcon is basically the guy who convinced all of the gods that creating a mortal plane would be a good idea. Wow. Thank you. Of course, the, the, oh, elven, gods, the elven gods weren't exactly happy with the idea, so uh, they got one of their kind to rip Lorcon's heart out, turn his corpse into the two moons, and then one of them shot Lorcon's heart off the top of a tower with a bow, and the heart landed right down there. Wow. So really, this I is... I can't tell if that's a ma This is all the Elven God. God's fault. <laughs> like, all I can say is, like, I can't tell that's amazing that they did that, or petty that they had to set the heart up a tower and then shoot it down. No idea. But maybe that's not even the full story. You never know. Uh, it's true. Now comes the tough part, because I need to equip Wraith Guard, which means I'm going to be lacking... Um, unless one of the tools has, like, a strength enchantment. 
Oh yeah, Sunder does, which helps out, actually. There we go. Whoa, what was all that? Uh, that was I the buff side of the By the way, I don't need my map. Here's Sunder. Straight up a hammer. Mm -hmm. Awesome. The crank was over here. And now we get... There we, go. Uh, we get something that we haven't really gotten a whole lot of up to this point. Oh, get in there, get in there. Oh, that's a trick door. Sort of. I can fight with Sunder, it's fine. Pretty strong. So is this... yeah, it is. I'll get my, like, pants back on soon. I'm just thinking of, like, oh god, that hurts. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing you can't see the Cthulhu monster. So... Oh! Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Yeah, looked like he was praying. Uh, yeah, take these off of him. Come to me through fire and war. I welcome you. Oh, yeah, dig out there, talk to you. <laughs> I love that. I'm guessing that's telepathic, because we have not quite reached him yet. Now he's just got a loudspeaker system, it's fine. <laughs> Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. The voice oh. clips of Dagother are so iconic that there are, like, AI memes of him, like, crazy. <laughs> that's how you know you've made it. Mm-hmm. But Dagother is really the only guy in Morrowind who has significant amounts of voice lines. So, it helps. What's this? Telvani Dust Adept Helm. Never heard of that. Ooh, nice longbow. Come. Bring Wraithguard to the Heart Chamber. Together, let us free the cursed false god. You almost sound like you're doing them a favor. Yeah. Like, I know it's supposed to be epic, but it's kind of hard to tell if he's trying to do a sales pitch or not. <laughs> uh, pants. I need, I need like uh, some kind of constant night eye enchantment. Maybe that'll be. There's an imperial dragon scale helm here. I don't understand that at all. Man oh. has the capabilities. I guess oh, I, right. I, I guess I can't carry much more at this point. Ooh. Just here, alright. I'll just drink the potion here. off of him, it's fine. The potion will not go to waste, Chug. Mm -hmm. Am I going deeper and deeper? Yes, here we go. Oh god. Welcome, Nerevar. Thank God. Together we shall speak for the law and the land, and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. Uh, anything you okay. say. That one sounded pretty good. Yes. Whoa. Like, there's there's a really funny uh, dig author voice meme where, in, instead of mongrel dogs of the Empire, he slips and says mongrel lizards of the Empire. And the Nerevarine is a Argonian, so... <laughs> oh, I love that. Here, you can... I'll swap. Is this how you honor the Sixth House and the tribe unmourned? Come to me openly, and not by stealth. That, that's kind of what I've been doing. Stealth and armor is bad. Yeah, no, we literally have a hammer, the most blunt weapon you can have. All right. Oh, that's a lot. Well, a lot for, your for this point. Has to end here. Oh, it's a Daedric short sword. Oh, I want it so bad. Wretched inventory limit. White gauntlet of, of the here. what? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? No. Okay, let me let me check on Keening because I want to make sure it does not fortify his strength. So this might be troublesome. the 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 chamber that he's in should be right there. Finally, time. It is time. 
Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny is made. I didn't know Dig Author worked at Bungie Studios. <laughs> well, there he is in his golden mask. Laughing maniacally. It began here. It will end here. Have you any parting words, or you, would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business? You are the challenger here, after all, so to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. That's where you got that from. <laughs> was, it, was it that obvious when he said it? <laughs> so at first he reminisces about... Uh, he considered offering to an accept an oath of service if we surrender the tools to him. I'm not going to do that, of course. And right. he's not interested in letting us live anyways, but he would like some final questions answered. So... My first question is, are you really Nerevar Reborn? Well, that's an interesting question, actually, because you could make a case for us just getting lucky and landing in this position by chance. That's true. I mean, it was a pretty big coincidence that we had that we just happened to be the one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like we have Nerevar's memories or some kind of power that was passed on to us, so really, I know no more than you do. What a world. There. Perhaps we shall never know. But as I have sympathy for you and the mel melancholy fate of all mortals, I shall weep for your death. I have to die first, dude. <laughs> My second question is, if you win, what do you plan to do with a power from the heart? Will you make yourself a god and establish a theonomy? Or will you complete a kulakan and dispute control of Tamriel with the Septims? Or will you share the heart with your followers, as I have, and breed a new race of divine immortals? Hmm. I have my own secret plan. Well, perhaps they may be surprises in store for me yet. Or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle. Or perhaps you are an instinctive bluffer. No matter. Hmm. My final question is, if I had offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening to me to seal your oath? No, I would never join you. Thank you for your forthright response. And now, if you have any questions, ask them. Otherwise, you are the challenger. I await your first blow. He wants that blow so bad. <laughs> okay, what is your plan for the heart? I will continue to draw divine power from the heart and distribute it to my kin and followers. I will continue to broadcast divine power upon the blight winds. I told you he had a speaker system. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> in time, every mortal in Tamriel shall feel the liberating contact with the divine. I have a feeling that would also come with huh. a disease. Yeah, we can't have that. Mm -hmm. So it's, much, it's mostly just him describing his plan to take over the world, of course. I mean, I mean, look at this last line. Then perhaps when Morrowind is once again restored to its ancient glories, it will be time to consider whether the Dunmer should cultivate ambitions of empire. Yeah. And we can also ask him what happened to the Dwemer, why he's building a Kulakon, which is that weapon I mentioned. Yeah, it's it's a lot more words, honestly. All I all I see from him is a raving madman. So. Let's do it. Here we go. The Bleaching Immortal Scourge of Lorcon. Day Goth Earth. Wow, that was easy. But this huh. door here is Why? opening up all of a sudden. Hmm. Ominous. Indeed. Do I have a to... heavy door. Uh -huh. Do I have to recharge this again? I guess I will. Let's do it one more time, shall we? Yes. What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is no reason. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. Naturally, oh god, he's he... invincible. Oh my god, he knows about the recall interventions! I mean, I guess those are commonly used spells, I suppose. Still, the fact he knows a woman, it's like, this man has you covered pretty well. Yeah, this is harder than it looks. Don't help his followers, we're not making it easy. 
Okay. So I would like so, to say I would like to say this is not really my ideal final boss because really all you have to do is make it down here. There's the heart. Please tell me I did not get stuck on something. <laughs> oh, you're good. Yes. Yeah, so. So but, yeah. The plan is strike the heart once with Sunder, then equip Keening and whack it. Okay. Heart of Lore Comments 1. Oh god, he's right there! Yeah, he teleports. This is the end. The bitter, bitter end. I've almost never heard that voice clip from him. Okay, I need to re-equip Sunder to get my strength back. There we go. See ya! Zoom zoom. <laughs> the man laughs his way to death. You know what? I, I think that voice clip was a bug, but it's one epic bug. That was perfect. Ah. Uh, wow, that heart had a lot more power than I thought. Shame you don't have to fight the giant golem, or is that a blessing? I mean, you told me that thing was going to set a dragon break, so I don't know. Yeah, it probably would have. Ugh. In that case, I'm just glad that... I'm guessing the eagle has been over. Well, how the hell would he survive from that? Alrighty. We exit. And someone greets us as we leave. Oh? Who would you be? You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom Duima's folly, Lord Dagoth's temptation, the tribunal's seduction, the god's heart freed, the prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the lost. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior. Hortator and Nereverine, your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you, our thanks and blessing, our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. Thank you very much, Azura. <laughs> the Ring of Azura is our prize, assuming it'll let me pick it up. Hey, a constant effect night eye, just what I needed. <laughs> Asking ye shall receive. Maybe God is real after all, or at least Azura is. Uh yeah there it also is. constantly restores stamina so if you have this you don't need to worry about stamina ever again that's amazing a well-earned reward i'd say indeed can i pick these up no all right uh oh i just need to get rid of one thing ah nothing like a refreshing drink to be able to get myself going uh <laughs> let's just ignore that yeah <laughs> I have no idea why they thought that was a good idea. It's almost as bad as the loincloth of undeniable access. <laughs> don't... You still have that thing from, like, the quest, don't you? Oh, that a speedo? The... What? The what? No, wait. You got, like, something from some... Oh, I can't remember. Your god's dead! Yeah, that's weird. I thought these guys were supposed to drop off the face of the earth, but I guess they're still around. Anyway, I... You know there's always going to be stragglers. Because we just ended the blight, and Corpus is basically gone forever, except for the people who have already been infected, i.e. us. And as you can see, the, the ash storm is gone completely. The sky is out. We can see the sun once again. You can see the lava more clearly. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. Are, are ash storms still a thing from here on out? No! We got rid They're of an completely. We got rid of an entire weather condition, essentially. And considering what how annoying it was before, I don't think anyone's gonna complain. Mm-hmm. Morrowind is uh. safe once again, for now, anyway. Still yeah, got still got a cliff racer problem though. 
Eh, that's always going to be a case, but yeah. We're, it feels good to finally have all the, the biggest threat done for now. We can all fly off into the sunset. Ow. With our... <laughs> Not exactly flying. To be fair, what is flying but falling with great? Please don't <laughs> die on me. <laughs> what is flying but falling with style? Is that it? Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess that just leaves the question now, though. And I just, like again, there are many more quests, but what do we do now? Well, I suppose we could retire to our house in Balmora. At this point, I could just walk back there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's too nice to, like, just run. I mean, we don't have to worry about ash storms anymore. We can enjoy the wonderful night skies again. Until it rains, of course. Oh, yeah. Rain. Still a problem. Uh, this, this has been a fun ride, though. I love it. But there's still one burning question. Oh. Who was that wolf guy? That's true. We could see him, but nobody else could. You want me to tell you? So anyway... <laughs> it always feels good to like, be at the end of a journey like this. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that wolf fellow, I guess I'll just tell you straight up who that was. Uh, that was the spirit of the first emperor of Tamriel. Really? Yeah, he, he was called Tiber Septim. And most sources claim that Tiber Septim ascended to godhood after completing his conquest of Tamriel, so we just got a blessing from the Imperial God. <laughs> uh, I love when gods work in mysterious ways. Well, they often do. Well, these tools are very heavy. So, put it there. I'll just keep them on my bed. That's safe, isn't it? Eh, yeah. And these are the very special weapons. Mm -hmm. They belong in a very special place. That way when you... You gotta give me this image of Tajirio, like, cuddling up to them as he sleeps. <laughs> Cuddle up to the tools of Kagernak. Sure. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing else to do but take a nice, long rest. It may, yeah. be, it may be early in the morning, but... We really need, we, we really need this, right? Oh my goodness! What, what? What are you? What in the world? Uh, excuse me, you Wait. are going down, my good friend. You are standing Ooh. at my table. Who in the world? An, An assassin? assassin? The Dark Brotherhood. What? I don't think the journey's over quite yet. You got me good! What the hell? I don't think the journey's over quite yet, ladies and gentlemen. Well, next time... Whenever we have... Can you see <laughs> whenever we set, settle down to play some Morrowind next time, we'll have to investigate what on earth just happened to us. I hope you didn't steal my public notice! <laughs> That'll do it for the main portion of Morrowind, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Ivan, for being here all, all this time. It's been a great time, I gotta admit. It, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. I, I have loved this whole journey. Especially someone new to the Elder Scrolls series, this has been an absolute trip. <laughs> and there's still more to come with Morrowind's expansions if you'll join me once again one day. Yay! But that'll do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching once again. See you later. I'm never sleeping in my bed again. <laughs>